Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own chord progressions in Ableton Live. You can make your own chords so easily. You don't need some MIDI pack. Have you seen those annoying ads? The MIDI pack, the MIDI pack. It's just seriously, it's just like a set of chord progressions. Anyone can learn this really easily. And I'm gonna show you how right now. Okay, what I'm about to show you will work in any digital audio workstation, any version of Ableton Live, and it's really simple. So if you don't know what MIDI is, it's just a communications protocol to trigger sounds on virtual instruments. And all a chord is, is three or more notes played at the same time. So that's all it is really. So what I'm going to do is first grab a MIDI track, you, you'll get two MIDI tracks. These are for your virtual instruments. I will find a virtual instrument that is included with every version of live. Let's go to instruments here. And let me just go to the instrument rack. I know this is included in every version of live. And we'll just grab any sound here. Let's just grab some kind of piano or key sound. Let's just grab this electric piano. I've just dragged that onto the first MIDI track and that's loaded up that virtual instrument. So to create a chord progression without a MIDI keyboard, you're going to need a blank MIDI clip. So I usually select a region by just clicking and dragging. And then if you right click, you have to have right click enabled. You can also, you can select insert MIDI clip. Shift command M on a Mac will do that. But you can also just go to the create menu and select insert MIDI clips right here. So now you can grab on the top there. This is a blank MIDI track. Double click on it and you should get this piano roll down the bottom. Uh, this is the MIDI editor. And you'll see we have a keyboard going up and down here. If you want to hear the instrument on this track, when we click on these keys, simply click this little headphones icon. Now we can hear that. Now we're going to draw in some notes. I just tap the B key to get a pen and we can draw in some notes. Or I can double click in an empty region here and it will create a note. If you want to learn uh, more about chords, this is a really good website. Um, I'm not affiliated with this website in any way but this will just tell you the notes that make up basic chords. So you have three note chords, which are either major, minor, or diminished. So you'll see here in a major chord for a C major, C, E, and G. So we can just go back to Ableton Live and you see you have little, you got a C note here. So these white notes are C, D. You'll see when you hover over the note, it'll tell you what it is. D sharp is that black note. So C, E, and G. And I can, I can extend those notes out by grabbing the side, grabbing them all by dragging a box and grabbing them sideways. That's a major chord. Now, if we wanted to, um, if I wanted a D major chord, grab them all drag them up. Now that's starting on D. So once you've got the basic chord that you, you can just drag it anywhere. And then that bottom note, the root note becomes the new uh, basis. So it's now D major. Now, if I just go down a bit, we've got minor chords here. So you'll see that a C minor chord is C, E flat and G. So C, E flat. So we've got, it doesn't show the flats here. Um, it says D sharp, but D sharp is the same as E flat. So in between the E and the D, if there's a black note, it'll be either E flat. So it's flattened by a semitone or D sharp. So if you get the, if you can't find E flat, that's because it's just the D sharp. It's the same. It's the same note. That's a minor chord. Then you have seventh note chords. This is a diminished chord. They, they, they sound kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, nefarious sounding. Ominous. 
We have major seventh chords. These are a happy, chilled out. This is a major seventh. I'm not going to go through all the types of chords here. There's dominant seventh, minor seventh. You can just try these out for yourself. You can just look at these notes, type them in, and they'll give you the chord progressions. Now, this is how I make hip hop beats and instrumental tracks. I start out with a simple chord progression. So I'm going to make this track 140 beats per minute. Let's make this a little bit more hip hop sounding, a bit more pop sounding by throwing a filter on it. Let's go to the audio effects and the EQ 8. I'm not sure if EQ 8, I think it's included in every version of Ableton Live. Okay, so if I want to, I'm going to actually make this a minor seventh. This is what a minor seventh chord sounds like. Yeah, I've got to make that minor. So now I have my minor seventh chord. You can even do something cool here. You can just rename this clip by right clicking and selecting rename. You can call this minor seventh. And then you can save that clip. You can just make all the chords up on this top track and then you can drag them in. But this is what I do. Let's get a bit of a click going. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Now we can start changing these notes by just dragging them up. And then I'll copy that chord again and I'll just drag it up. I can copy and paste bits and pieces of this. I'm just going to muck around and experiment. You can copy and paste entire sections of this chord progression. So I've just got a nice little chord progression here. I don't know if this is going to work out, but this is how I start building tracks from scratch. So I've just copied this top line, uh, this top chord progression and popped it on a secondary track. And I've gone in and I've just deleted all the high notes and I've just got the low notes left and I've just dragged a bass instrument onto that. And then I've just done a super quick little drum uh, track there. And you can see that using that chord progression, you can easily make the start of a track. You can change the sound. Um, you can grab anything you want because it's MIDI. You can change the sound afterwards. You can just drag that onto the track and it will replace the instrument for you. So you can see if you can learn to make your own chords, your own chord progressions, it really opens up your ability to start making tracks. If you want to learn how to make a complete track from start to finish, I've been a professional music producer for 15 years. I've just released my Ableton Live Starter Kit, which is a free three-part course, uh, a crash course in Ableton Live, and it also includes a sample pack. I'll leave the link in the description of this video for you to grab that. It's totally free, and that will give you a massive head start in producing high-quality, professional-sounding music in Ableton Live. I trust you found this content valuable and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future music production videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.